welcome back to another Motion Fire tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make tust, dust particles. Tust? I don't know what tust is. But yeah, I'm going to show you how to make dust particles. I'm fully aware there's another um, another tutorial out there on how to do this. However, I'm going to do it an alternative way, and I'm going to use an emitter, a snow emitter. And I, in my opinion, it's um, it's an easier way, but I'm not saying it's the right or wrong, I'm just saying it's an easier way, it's an alternative way. So yeah, okay, I'm going to go to open a new motion project, um, frame rate 30 frames per second, I'm going to go duration 18 seconds and click open. And then, as always, I'm going to get my preview pane and click fit, drop the drop down, click fit. Go to my library, go to my generators, select lens and click apply. I'm going to go to my inspector. Um, just have a quick look at my properties. Is there anything I want to do? Obviously, I could move the position and, and all that good stuff from here and change the scale of my um, of my flare as 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 is shown now. And I'm just going to leave the scale at 353%. Okay. I'm then going to go to my generator tab, and what I am going to do, I'm going to drop this right to the very bottom of my um, my ge um, generator tab, and I'm going to go to this glow fall off and drag it down to the left and it gives you this really 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 nice um, sort of um, reddish color what I'm then going to do I'm going to drag the center of this and put it up in this the corner of um, corner of the screen here and the reason I'm just adding a lens flare is is purely just to um, just to show off the dust particles later on um, I'm just going to keyframe this a little bit as well so I'm going to drag my intensity down to um, 0.15 and click the record button. Drag my timeline up to about 9 seconds and drag the intensity up to 2.38. Drag the timeline over to about 15 seconds and drag the intensity down back to about 0.5 whatever, 0.4 something. Okay. So I'm happy with that, and then going to go back to the start of my timeline, and on the streak intensity, I'm going to just click add a keyframe, go up to about 8 seconds, and I'm going to increase the streak intensity, I'm going to go up again, and decrease the streak intensity. And again, I'm not just. This is just random, just to um, just to add a little bit of something to the um, to the tutorial. Okay, go back to the start. Street count. I'm going to drag it down to about one. Up to between these two keyframes, and then I'm going to add some more streaks like this down to the center here and take some streaks away like this and then I'm going to deselect record I'm going to click, press play and just see what I've done okay so you notice the streaks come in the intensity increases as we've got the timeline and it drags back down okay so I'm happy with that but that's just um, just to add a little bit of an animation to the um, to the tutorial itself or to the to the end product itself Okay, then I'm going to go back to library and um, select my particle emitters. Now, before I do anything, I'm going to go project, highlight project, and click the little plus button here to make a new group. I'm not going to rename the group or um, do anything with it like that. I'm just going to add a new group, and I'm going to scroll down to um, to snow flurry. Is it snow flurry? We'll see. So, okay, so you can use snow blizzard or you can use snow flurry. It doesn't matter. And the outcome um, is just dependent on what you put on the um, the inspector um, properties. So, with particle emitters such as snow, they are quite um, memory intensive. So, depending on what type of Mac you've got, um, or, or the um, the specifications of your Mac, it might keep slowing your um, Mac down and even crash it in some instances and crash motion fire for you. So, what we can do, we can um, we can just select the snow flurry and click apply. So now I've got my snow flurry here. And I'm just going to go to my timeline and make sure it's for the duration of my timeline. And you noticed that there we go. There's my slow fl snow flurry. Um, and it does make my Mac stutter a little bit. So 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to keep it highlighted here, but I'm going to turn it off. And everything I do, I'm going to edit with the Snowflurry turned off. Turn it on and then render it out. Just to um, just to help anybody out that's been having issues. So I'm going to go back to the start of my timeline. And the first thing that I'm going to do is go to my um, preview pane and put it on 25%. And drag these corners out so it is the same size as my preview pane. Um, then I'm going to go back to fit my fit window. And um, right, okay, with my snow flurry selected, I'm going to go to properties. And the first thing that I'm going to want to do is change the opacity. So I'm just going to go to the opacity and change it to 12%. And then I'm going to go across to the emitter tab. And the size up here, I'm going to make let's 688. Um, the width, if it doesn't already default to 688. The height, um, I'm going to change the height. I'm going to go 235 for the height. And then the columns, we're going to have 15 columns. We're going to have 15 rows. Tile offset can stay as it is. 3D selected checked in local 3d faster and the emission angle right the emission we want it to emit the snow flurry everywhere so we're going to go 360 degrees emission longitude 360 degrees emission range we're going to make this um 250 degrees and that's it for that part and i'm going to open this thing called master controls just down here um, and on the birth rate, I am going to have the birth rate, which is 200. So it's the amount at which it comes out. So it's quite a lot, 200%. But the initial number, um, I don't know. You could, you could leave it at 100%. Let's just put it at 30% just for the just for a laugh. Um, the life, let's have that as 200%. Could even 300%. 200%, so it lasts quite long. And then the scale, right, we want them to be really small, don't we? So let's have... 6% on the scale, the speed, we want them to move really, really slow because that's what particles do, they move really, really slow, just particles. And then the spin, we're gonna have that, want that at 50%. So the speed is 0.5, sorry, the scale is 6%, speed is 0.5, and the spin is 50%. And that is quite important, that bit. Um, and that is us done. So if I open that, now, if I turn on the snow flurry now, Let's have a look what's happening. We've got like quite a nice, quite a nice particle effect that um, that will increase as the um, as the keyframe increases and the brightness of the lens flare. Now, if you wanted, you could sort of make these particles get dragged towards this lens flare by simply adding a behavior to the lens flare, maybe an attract an attractor to the lens flare. But yeah, that's as simple as it is. I'm going to render that out and I'll show you it at the end of this video. But if you um, if you have any questions. And there's a lot of things that you can do. You can mess about with, obviously, the the emitter over here. But if you have any questions or if you have any comments or you have, have any points, or indeed you would like me to um, try and work something out for you within Motion 5, please drop me a, um, drop me a bell and um, drop me a comment below. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you all later. Bye.